All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Raka Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makaza from Trinidad Camp. Just want to do edification for the elect's sake. All right, and this lesson, you know, will be based on, you know, those, those individuals that, you know, they come up to the camp. Brothers, take the time, you know, to go through the scriptures with them. Might meet them one on one. <laughs> might meet them one on one, you know, and you know, go through the scriptures with them. But the thing is, that's that's as far as it it goes. You know, they they interested in hearing the word, but in aspects to to do the Lord's work, to go out and wake up the elect. You know, they they don't want to do that. They always, you know, they want to do more research. They want to make sure that there's the truth. Although they they realizing that every, you know every time they meet with the brothers, the brothers you know, you know breaking down the scriptures for them, giving them the, the proper understanding. You know, it, they always have an excuse. You know why they not you know joining the camp so to speak or being converted. All right. And guess what? The Lord spoke about you all in this parable. All right? So this parable here is for you. All right? Because guess what? We, we, are, the, we are the end. So for all you men who are on the outside looking in and procrastinating and making excuses not to enter into the, the, the house of the Lord, guess what? The time coming, we're going to be too late for you. All right? This is Matthew chapter eight, chapter 13, verse 18. It says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone hear the word of the kingdom... And understand it, it not. Then come it the wicked one, and catch it away that which was sown in his in heart. This is he that received the seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receiveth it. All right. And so these you guys, you guys that be always coming up. You you hear the word and you receive it with joy. That is why you always coming up to hear the word. You always coming up. But guess what? That is, that is as far as you want to go. All right? That is as far as you as you willing to go. You just want to come out, as the scripture said, we are like a lovely song unto them. But then when the end come, then shall they know a prophet had been among them. All right? You come up, you know, the brothers see, the brothers taking the time to go through it, the scriptures with you. I know it's always, you know, you're doing your own research. You want to, you know, make sure that there's the truth. You want to go into more things. Guess what? If by two or three meetings with the brothers, you don't realize this is true, guess what? Then this is not for you. All right? Plain and simple. From the first encounter with the brothers, guess what? Something's supposed to click in your mind that, hey, something, something, you know, good about this word. is like honey. All right? As the scripture said, when a man finds the kingdom of heaven, guess what? He, he, he joyful. So if when you, the first meeting that you hear this word, uh, you know, you don't get a spark, Guess what? Then really and truly, this word not for you. All right? It says, Yet he had not rooted himself, but in but um, endured for a while. For when tribulation and persecution arise because of the word, by and by he was offended. All right? So I will stop there. All right? So by and by, you were offended. Because guess what? Because you, you weren't baptized by the Spirit of the Lord. All right, that is why you get offended because when you baptize with the Lord, when the Lord, you know, blesses you with His Holy Spirit, guess what? The scriptures or the doctrine wouldn't offend you. A lot of men get offended off the doctrine because why they weren't baptized, all right, they weren't converted, all right, they weren't converted in the truth. That is why the, the doctrine offended them the two the two occidental they're not they don't have that oriental mindset the mindset when you look up the word occidental it means from the west the mindset you know based on what they know or what they learn in esau's kingdom all right guess what the scripture said to become a become, become wise you have to become a fool all right so if you want to hold on to the teachings that you knew growing up guess what the, the two can't mix. The old wine and the new wine can't mix. 
all right the old wine and the new wine cannot mix so for all you people who procrastinate and forever reason to you know to come and seek and serve the lord guess what it will be your own downfall this is the book of john chapter four um Verse, I said at verse 10, it says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Yahweh, and who it is that said unto thee, Give me drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. So guess what? If you knew the truth, if you understood the severity of this truth, if you understood that, guess what? This is salvation. This is this is it. If you understood that this, it have nothing else beside this. Guess what? You would have been like Peter, Lord. Not only my, my legs, but my hands and my head also. Wash me thoroughly. That is how you would have been. You would have been like, hey, you know, where's my garment? Let me let me get into this. As the scripture said, put me one of those those priest garments. If you knew, if you understood that this was the truth, guess what? You wouldn't be procrastinating. You wouldn't be procrastinating. You wouldn't be putting off from day to day. That is why the scripture said, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And that is what you men doing. You, you tarrying to turn to the Lord. You tarrying to turn to the Lord. And guess what? That tarrying is going to lead to your own destruction. Because when the gates of repentance sealed, when World War III spark off and you see the chariots coming, that is when you're going to believe and then when you're going to want to turn to the Lord. But guess what? It's going to be too late because all the time the Lord was there near to you. Now when he's far away, you want to turn to him now, it'll work that way. So for all you men who put in all from day to day to turn to the Lord, guess what? Stop. Seek and turn the, and, and serve the Lord now. All right? Before it's too late. All right? But guess what? Only the elect... Really and truly, only the elect gonna receive this word. All right. Only the elect. This is Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. It says, "What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded." All right. So guess what? Hey, probably is your lot that the most I don't want you to come in the truth. All right, because it really ain't up to the ministers. It's up to Yahweh Hashem Shai. All right, but as the scripture said, if you had known, then your approach would have been different. But the Lord hadn't opened your, your understanding to realize that this is the truth and this is the way, so walk in it. All right, they always, they always want to do their own research, you know, they always need more, um, some, some, um, spiritual intervention. To, to, to show them that this is the truth. Guess what? If the Most I wanted to give you a spiritual intervention, he would have treated you like Paul. All right? The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahashai said what? By the foolishness of preaching. So for you to believe in the kingdom, guess what? The scripture said, so we preach, so you have believed. You have to believe by the words that the prophet spoke. All right? When you hear the word and you hear the men of the Lord coming out and pushing this truth, and then you'll be like, you know, you're waiting for some spiritual intervention because you've been here, you've been in this doctrine, you've been in that doctrine, and you don't know which to follow. So you're waiting until the Lord show you where to follow. Guess what? The scripture said, The most I speak it to, man, to man once, yea, twice, and they perceive it not. So if you're not hearing the words and the, and the voice of the most high, then guess what? The voice, the voice wasn't calling you. All right, as the scripture said, ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth because you like to do your own research, you like to read the scriptures, but guess what? You never come to the knowledge because the knowledge ain't for you. All right, and that is how two thirds of Israel are right now. They're seeking for this word, but the word ain't for them. But for the ones that the Lord drought it, that you, 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 you realize that this word have to be the truth, hey, stop putting off from day to day. Don't make no tarrying. Turn to the Lord now before it's too late. All right? Turn to the Lord now before it's too late. Because guess what? You end up one of those, like one of those seed on the wayside or you might end up like one of the, the, the seed that didn't have root. All right? So stop putting on. Putting on from day to day. So with that, 
I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great men who so not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, Saint Selek. This is Makazah Saint Shalawam.